Hello, this is Smurdly, and I just came home, and it's roasting hot outside. It's hotter than hell, same as it was yesterday. And while I was out, I went to the um, local community center where they have community service workers there wearing the orange vests um, who are sentenced to do so many hours of community service like working and yard work and washing windows and so forth at the community center. Rather than going to jail, of course, the jail is so, so overcrowded um, here where I live that um, they don't have room for everybody. Anyways, this guy was telling his supervisor who works at the community center, um, I washed all the windows except for that last window. He said, I'm not washing that last window, I'll tell you this that much. And his supervisor said, why? He said, because there's a big fat spider there and I don't do spiders. <clears throat> Well, I looked at the guy, and he's what, I don't know how old he is, I can't estimate people's age, he's probably about 25, 26, and I said to him, <laughs> I said, you should never tell people like me that you're afraid of spiders. I mean, he was a full-grown, hairy man, you know, with a, a, a little thin beard, a full beard and a little mustache. And I thought, well, you big, hairy sissy, afraid of a little bitty spider. And he, I didn't tell him that. I just said that it would just, just swap it off the window and step on it. And he said, eh, no, 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 I can't stand it. <laughs> when you step on a spider, particularly those big, fat, brown ones, yellow stuff gushes out of them, you know. Now, I, I don't know of any animal that has guts made out of just yellow cream like tapioca. No, no, no. Spiders, you see those big fat ones with big fat bodies? They are filled with pus. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, spiders, big fat ones, are filled with pus. And when you step on them, that's what you see is infectious pus, like you squeeze an infection and pus came out of it. When you squish a spider and you see that yellow stuff, that is pus. Now, this may be news to some of you guys, but have you ever noticed how, you know, in their teen years, guys start getting um, hair on their faces, but women don't, you know? And um, this is because in, in, in adolescence, your body undergoes certain changes and you start getting, you know, stinky armpits and pimples and stuff like that that you didn't have before and um, start growing. Well, spiders are attracted to that, you know, and they crawl on you in your sleep. And pimples are caused by spiders biting you and burrowing into you and laying eggs under your skin, you know and they come out as eruptions. When you squeeze them, you see a lot of yellow stuff come out. That's the, that's the pus from inside the spiders under your skin, okay? Now, spiders like testosterone. They don't particularly care for estrogen, female hormones. And um, when guys start getting hair sprouting out of their faces and their upper lips, what that is is the legs of the spiders hatching under their skin wiggle out through the pores of your skin and stick out on the outside. All they need is to be exposed to air and, you know, they start wiggling, okay? Spiders underneath a woman's skin, you know, a teenage girl's skin, just die because they can't live on estrogen and they have to have testosterone, okay? So what men are supposed to do is take a razor and shave the legs of the spiders off their faces, you know, and the legs just keep growing back out, growing back out, okay? That is, ladies and gentlemen, scientific and medical fact, not fiction, fact. Not fiddle dee dee, not faulty roll, not foolishness, that is fact. Proven scientific fact. Now, some of you may have noticed that older women, like your grandma, they get to be in their, you know, 40s and 50s, and they start, you know, growing little mustaches, and they have to, you know, shave them off. You know, and little, little chinny whiskers they have to shave off. Well, that is because they've passed the menopause, and they're no longer producing the 
estrogen that they used to have and the little spiders uh, the spider eggs underneath their skin start growing because estrogen kills them and their, their pores the, the little you know spider legs start sticking out of the pores on their upper lip mainly and on their chins and then they have to start shaving them off so this is just a fact of life okay that's what spiders do they, they bite you and they burrow into your skin and they make eruptions when you're in your teen years and when you squeeze the eruptions spider guts come out pus 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 comes out that's the insides of those spiders underneath you and the spiders bodies cannot come out through the pores in your skin because their bodies are too big they can't get out through the pores in your skin only their little thin legs can stick out and that's what these hairs are they're spider legs and you have to keep shaving them off understand don't really be afraid of spiders because spiders are not afraid of you and did you know that when you sleep spiders crawl on you and they crawl into your mouth that is fact an average person gets about 35 spiders crawling into their mouth during the course of a, a month and in your sleep, when you feel a tickling spider in your mouth, you just go... Mm. And the spiders mush against the roof of your mouth. Okay, they mush. And they'll let pus gets in your mouth. And that's why you wake up and your mouth is all rotten tasting, you know. And you have to go... Yeah. And go hit a Listerine, a gargle, uh, 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 And kill all that foul taste from the spider pus inside your mouth that is that is fact it's just one of the facts of life that they don't teach you about in school because uh, I don't know why they deprive you of this knowledge it's pretty disgusting but it's fact all of the same and um, you just have to accept it and that's just the way it is Ha, ha, ha.